Welcome back, everybody, to All Out Poker's Rebuy and Add-On Tournament. The rebuys are done. The add-on is done. We are now playing practically a freeze-out tournament. Players are eliminated. They're done for the tournament. We have Sloppy up first. Blinds are 3,000, 6,000 with a 6,000 big blind ante. Looking like he's making it a 14K bet. No. Man, no, I don't want to. Action's getting folded around to DC, who has ace queen. He makes the call. <laughs> Looks like we are going to see a flop here. Sloppy's going to need some help. Ooh, there's the ace. Top pair for Sloppy with a gut shot. DC <laughs> has hit top two pair. Sloppy shoves all in. DC quickly calls. Sloppy is going to need some help. He is 20% to win this pot. He's going to need a king or a 10 to split it. No, he does not get it. Sloppy, first hand of the final table, gets eliminated in 10th place. Make sure you put that hand in. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun being the first eliminated on the first hand of the final table. It's like actions to Katie, who has ace four offsuit. Bet is fifteen thousand. Makes it fifteen K to go. Sebastian shoves all in with ace queen in the small blind. Yeah. <laughs> Guy is all in now with ace nine. Guy is in pretty rough shape with his stack. Katie lets go of the ace four. That ace queen versus ace nine. Another all in. This is the second hand of the final table. We're seeing a ton of action. These small stacks are getting out of the way here. Ooh, there's the Guy's nine. There's a king down on the board. Sebastian is going to need an, an ace or a queen. There's the ace. But his queen plays. Wow. Guy is now our ninth place finisher. Both players hitting that ace on the river, but with the two kings on on the board, the queen kicker plays. Bit unlucky for Guy, but it was also unlucky for Sebastian for him to hit his nine. Jeremy, queen nine suited. 18K bet. Relatively early position. Katie's got pocket threes. And she folds. She's not going to see a pot. John now shoves all in. Hand number three. Halee's got ace king suited. My God, what is going on? Wow, Three so hands into this final table, and we've already seen two all ins. Now we're on our third all in. <laughs> Can we fold it over to Jeremy? I imagine Jeremy's going to get out of the way here. Ace king versus. Queen Jack suited. <laughs> Both of them have hearts. Oh, there's the king for Helene. There's a Jack now. Jack or a queen. Does not get it. John ends up getting eliminated now in seventh place. Three hands. I can't. Still can't believe this. Three hands into this final table. <laughs> The short stacks have just been eliminated. We're going to see maybe a little bit more of a deep stack. Well, I guess it's not really deep stack, but we're going to see a little more deeper play at the final table, which is always good to see. 
Aline's got King Jack suited of spades. 21k. Blinds are still 3,000, 6,000. The 6,000 big blind ante. Jeremy. Three bets to 48,000 with pocket aces. In the big blinds. I always enjoyed playing King Jack suited. But in a three bet pot here, King Jack is going to be crushed a good portion of the time. It's always a fun hand to play a flop with, though. Looks like Helene's thinking about possibly making the call. It's only 27k more. Oh, she folds. Jeremy, gonna, Jeremy shows the aces. Bet you Helene is thinking about uh, it, how it was a great fold. How she almost ran that King Jack into pocket aces. Yeah. No, I didn't have a show. Oh, no. Not that turn. No. Well, not even if it's just that. First, Jeremy is no stranger to defending his big blind, but wait, woke up with pocket aces there. First time. First time I Yeah, that's what I was thinking right. too. Calvin is right. That could have been a fourth all in, four hands into the final table. That's crazy. That's what I was Luckily, that streak got broken. You can see a little more play. This editing is going to take no time. This game will be 45 minutes of footage. This game will be up next week. It's 12. 12k bet from Katie. Nice little min bet. A flashback. Calvin's got king nine. This is quite similar from my hand of week two. Game four in season two. Neither player hits anything. Katie's got the position though. Broke Heather's ankle at the fight club. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Glad to see the players are having a good time at the table. Calvin three betting here with King High. 21k. <laughs> Given the old check raise. And it works. Calvin's bluff gets through. Nice little three bet on a dry board. It's like action's getting folded to Jeremy on the button. Who wakes up with pocket kings. Makes it 20k to go. Jeremy just wins the blinds there. See, Jeremy's the biggest stack at the table. 320k. DC's in second place with 204. Got a couple people hovering around the 10 big blind mark. Talking about a play from one of the previous tournaments. Jeremy got called, snap called with top pair. Massive all in. It's like 60%, 60 or 70% of the chips on the table for an all in. It was a crazy hand. Doesn't look like this hand is going to be too crazy though. Blind versus blind. And then, and then I still had King nine versus eight seven. DC hits its king. Like four, seven, six, 
Yeah. Oh my god. Katie, no luck there. Looking like we're getting folded around to the blinds again. A big change up from all the all ins we've seen, but Katie shoves it in. Queen three, pocket eights for Helene. I think she's going to have to make the call here. Pocket eights versus queen three. Katie's behind here. Needs a queen. Maybe running straight or clubs. Oh, there's a pair of threes. Nope, does not get there though. Katie ends up getting eliminated seventh place. Survived a couple hands before somebody got eliminated. So now that we are six-handed, we cut the ante in half to give the players more play. That big blind ante coming around can be quite uh, quite a hit. And look at this. Matt wakes up with pocket nines under the gun, shoves all in. Yeah, he just left. About time we start seeing some more all-ins, right? <laughs> it's like as if we didn't see enough of the first three hands. Calvin's pocket sixes. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys. Take care. Good to see you. I always love a friendly game. <laughs> what was the total? Uh, 56, yeah. Again, under a 10 big blind shove here. I feel like DC kind of just has to make the call. But he does not. He folds. He does have players behind him, though. So, I, got, I mean, you can't blame him there. You don't want to be reshoved on top of it. So, Matt just lets... Matt ends up winning that pot. I'm sure he's okay with it. But that sound means that the blinds are now going up the next hand, I guess. We stay at three and six until uh, if the hand's finished before the blinds go up, then we stay at three and six. So looks like we're going to sit at three and six for this one. It'll be uh, 4,000, 8,000 with a 4,000 big blind ante the next hand. DC, queen jack makes it 17 to go. Ace king suited for Sebastian. Sebastian shoves all in. Ace King. Matt folds the 10 9 suited. Puts DC in a weird spot. Just over half his stack to make the call here.
DC is giving it some thought. Ooh. No, he lets it go. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Just 95. Helene's got ace queen. Twenty four K bet. It's like Sebastian wanted to wanted to bet there on the button, but Helene's gonna take down those blinds. It's like DC calls the 8K. Matt wakes up with pocket eights. Shoves again. He's got to put it in. 55K. He's definitely under 10 big blinds here now with the blinds going up. I feel like DC's got to call this one, unfortunately. It's not a fun situation, but... Where if you're going to limp in on this spot, it's kind of a tough spot, but. Luck, and he makes the call. A6 suited versus pocket eights. Eights, those eights are yeah. getting everywhere. Great situation for Matt to double up. Best case scenario, really, if you ask me. I think he's only, DC's only running to an ace. There's only two left in the deck. Nice Does not get there. Matt doubles up. He's still in this tournament. 15 big blinds now. It's getting folded around to the blinds. Calvin with ace three. Like he's going to make a bet. Gonna steal that big blind. I don't think we've seen what DC had there. King nine suited, he folded. That's always a fun defending hand. Ooh, now ace jack suited versus Bastion. That is 32k bet. Quite a large bet. 4x bet. He's probably going to win the blinds here, unless someone wakes up with a hand. They have King Jack, but I'm not going for it. Back. And by that time, everyone's in really deep and you need some money back. <laughs> or you're just going deeper. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Ooh, a nice little suited connector for Jeremy. Makes it 25. Going to go after those blinds and antes. Makes a difference. If you win enough of those. Ooh, so ace king for Sebastian. Uh, sorry, 150,000. Jeremy just folds. Ooh, pocket fours for Calvin. Makes it 24 to go. A6 for Sebastian. He folds. Matt folds. Calvin wins the blinds. See, Jeremy's still biggest stack at the table. Helene's now in second place. 201K. Sebastian's in third. Matt's still sitting at 14 big blinds as the shortest stack. But this is still anyone's game. Jeremy gets a walk. I guess that's what happens when you defend all of your big blinds. 
He's well known for defending his blinds. Calvin asking Jeremy for a walk. Oh, Calvin gets it. That's good. Dolly Parton. How do you eat? <laughs> it's just gambling. Yeah. <laughs> there were, I was there th last Thursday night, and no word of a lie, we were 45 Ooh, minutes. Pocket Rockets now. Sebastian. There was a pot. Six people. What do we say? He was third place in chips. And you can only buy in for 300. So. Makes it 32 <laughs> again, a 4x bet. There's plenty of rebuys. Three of them hadn't even looked at May them. scare away all of the competition for that. The Wins the blinds and annies with those aces. In the pot. Three of them hadn't looked at the hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's basically, basically what it is. is. You basically have to expect to go to that table and be like, I'm going to put down at least five, six $600 because... I think that's a made-up stat. Ace Jack off suit. <laughs> no. Matt makes it 31k. 75%. Pretty much a 4x bet again. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah, bet. They had two hands. One guy went in with queens. There was one hand. One guy went in with queens. One guy had 10 5, and one guy hadn't looked at his hand. The 10 5 was the second best hand after the river. <laughs> That's one of those blinds and innies. We're starting to see some of these players fighting for that. It's always good to see. It's like Helene's going to call the small blind with 10-8 off. Sebastian, big blind checks. We've got blind versus blind. <laughs> Card is getting a little sticky. Helene's got a gut shot. 10 high is still the best hand, though. Ooh, there's Sebastian's four. Sebastian takes a stab at it. I've lost. Helene grabbing her cards. Looks like she's going for a fold. We know she has 11 outs. But she's probably not thinking her 10 or an 8 would be good here. She folds. Hand 23 of this final table. Calvin makes it 24 to go. Pocket eights. <coughs> Fold it around to Jeremy, known for defending the big blinds. As I was saying, defending it now with 5-2 suited. There's his pair of fives. Two overcars to Calvin's eights. Thirty-two K bet. Jeremy not going anywhere. Imagine that worries Calvin a little bit. A heart comes down on the turn. Jeremy's now got a ton of outs. Straight draws and flush draw. Two pair possibilities. Thirteen outs for Jeremy, as we see on the screen. Two of the hearts are gone. Must have gotten folded. As well as the two of clubs. Jeremy messing with Calvin a little bit. <laughs> but Calvin's trying to talk himself into a call here. Yeah, 
And he folds. Jeremy's all in. <laughs> Puts Calvin in a really weird spot with pocket eights. Jeremy just with a big heavy draw though. <laughs> Ooh, some revenge now. Jeremy versus Calvin. Another opportunity here. Jeremy's got pocket sixes in the small blind. We got an all-in and a call. Still don't know what Calvin has. Graphics haven't caught up. Queen seven, a snap call. Blinds are 5,000, 10,000. 5,000 big blind ante. Can't blame Calvin for putting his money in here. He only had 66K behind. 30, 30, 60, well, 66 plus the five. Seven. Six. Oh, there's trip sixes. Calvin is in bad shape, oh, nine. 6%. Nine. Oh, up to 11 now, just needs a nine. nine. And there it is, a nine on the river. Oh. Disgusting beat for Jeremy. He was way ahead on that flop. But gets runner runner. Yeah, 66. Sorry. Certainly not a fun way to lose. Yeah. No, I wasn't sorry. But you get running straight for Calvin. Careful, but you didn't listen. <laughs> what do you have? Queen seven. Queen seven. Yeah. Jeremy still all smiles though. Are we gonna be friendly. Small little <laughs> bad beat. Moving on the next hand. Calvin tries to limp in. DC shoves his remaining no, stack in. Seven. The worst part is, I like it better than 3 7. <laughs> Should be 107. 107. Oh, wow. So, so you have 127 that behind. Line. Yeah. I think it's again, I don't know about this. It's like Calvin, again, trying to talk himself into making the call. Uh, no, you can have it. It's like he's regretting putting in that uh, extra. T Extra 5k. But Jeremy's 25k bet. We've seen the players winning the blinds and antes. I don't blame Jeremy at all for, for betting here. I think I would do the same. Calvin folds the ace nine. King 10 for DC now. In the small blind. Says now is the time. Shoves it in. Got ourselves a small little coin flip here. Ace eight offsuit versus King ten offsuit. No help to DC. He's going to need a king or a ten now on the river. Does not get it. DC ends up getting eliminated sixth place. We're now five handed at this final table. See, Jeremy's now big stack. Again, 413k. Jeremy asking for a walk. I was going to do it, it's like our fourth flop we've seen. <laughs> I, can, I can see flops too. Ooh, both players hit top pair. That's Jack Kicker though. Could end up playing. Oh wait, sorry, Jeremy has hit two pair on that flop. I did not realize. The six came down, Jeremy has two pair. <laughs> the most painful call I've ever seen in my life. Looks like he's slow playing a little bit. Ooh, and the seven comes down, counterfeits Jeremy's six. <laughs> So now Matt's jack will play as a kicker. Oh, that is a disgusting card for Jeremy to see. Jeremy's going to need a card over the jack to even split this pot. 
Or he's going to need a six on the river. Or a queen. A queen. I guess a queen would split the pot as well. He's going to put it in. Thinking he could possibly on a, be on a flush draw. But he sees he gets counterfeited here. He's not happy about it. I wouldn't be happy about it either. There's the ace. Oh, Split pot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. You needed a big card. Yeah. Nice little split pot there. I guess you had almost 20,000 just in two. That's on the button. That's 100,000 for the purple 35k bet. Jesus. I owe you. Calvin folds. Backhand at this time it might be. <laughs> all in. Ace Jack for Jeremy. <laughs> Calvin shoves all in. Jeremy is excited about it. He makes the call. Got a big pair. 70, uh, what do you got? Nine, five, two, oh, two, uh, what do you so, have? 50, 70, 95, 100, 110. That's it? That's it. Oh, Queen's coming. Queen's coming, just for you. You're gonna watch? Do you wanna, do you wanna watch or not watch? You you want me Jeremy, great no, shape to be watch. Calvin here. Don't watch. Oh, there's a king. Calvin is only running to two outs. Oh, 10's good. Needs a queen ten's or good. a 10 now. Queen. 10's good! Oh, there's a 10. Oh, Jeremy gets runner runnered again. Deadly oh you gotta my stop. goodness. You gotta stop trying to take my money. It's not working for it. Calvin throwing in the needles on Jeremy. So gross. Oh. And then I hit the tens. Oh, gross. Did you miss, did you miss the tens? <laughs> Jeremy getting really unlucky on this final table. <laughs> did you miss the tens? Two times he's had the players crushed and just gets unlucky. 25. So Calvin wants to go after his big blind, ace-10. Helene woke up with ace-jack, though. <coughs> she makes the call. Oh, boy, and that sound means the blinds are going up next hand. 6,000, 12,000 with the 6,000 big blind ante. Nobody likes hearing that sound. So that one didn't come from the parrot. Calvin hits his pair of tens. It's not a great spot for Helene now. Only running to the jack. Thirty-five. Calvin putting some pressure. Link calls. A club draw now for Calvin. He's got the ace of clubs. Calvin putting maximum pressure on this. He's got the best hand. Thirty-five. 
that throwing out a 35k bet on the button. Is he gonna steal the blinds? Looks like Calvin with his newfound chips. He's gonna come along and play. Queen four. Defending his big blind. Looks like King High is still the best hand. Calvin puts maximum pressure with the diamond draw. You probably hit. And Matt calls. Matt called his all in. It's a 50 50. Calvin's got a ton of outs. But wow, the king high plays. Wow, what a call from Matt. I should have I should have just ripped it on the clock. He wouldn't have bet before he even priced it. That's what I should have done, but I wanna see if he puts more in. Sebastian. Jeremy and Calvin going at Sorry. it and in the background. Sorry. You can kind of hear it. Worse than the guy that was beside you earlier. Worse than the guy that was beside you earlier. I thought he was going to complain about every hand he lost. The guy that was there. Oh no, he was the other side. Sorry, I forget you were over there. I can't remember what his name. Oh, Kevin. Is it Kevin? Yeah. Every hand he Sebastian betting his suited connector. <laughs> you were behind on every hand. He's going to steal these blinds, I think. Oh no, Helene wakes up with the ace king. Shoves her remaining stack in. Sebastian already putting in 48k. He's got 131k behind. It's not too much more for Sebastian to call. Really put himself in a tough spot here with that suited connector. 75, 79, 85. 85. 85 total. Yeah, 85 total. Six in front, so 85 total. So, what? And you fold it for 45 more? Yeah. Sebastian oh, folds. That's a tight shot. Wow. I know, but still, for 45 more? Yeah. You're like priced in 18 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's giving Sebastian a little bit of a needle there for a tight fold. Jeremy gets pocket fives. Looks like he makes it 32. Blinds are 6,000, 12,000 with a 6,000 big blind ante now. Sebastian shoves all in, ace jack. Jeremy calls. Got ourselves a nice little flip again. Good race. Good luck, whoever's on. I don't know who's got who covered. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, two oh, eights down on the board. Jeremy's fives get counterfeited. No. Wow. Oh my goodness. Jeremy running so bad at this final table. It's been up and down. His stack has just been a roller coaster. Yeah, big blind and yeah. You still have Sebastian so doubles up there. Action is to Jeremy now. 8 7 suited. He lets it go. Wasn't sure if he was going to be on tilt after that hand. Calvin's got a better heart. King Jack suited. He's going to win the blinds with that bet. Take a look at the stacks here. Matt's actually biggest stack at the table. They're all relatively even, believe it or not, after Jeremy's bad run has lost the chip lead. I think I have 214, so I don't know if that's... Matt's got the little ducks. Right. Jeremy debating putting it in here. It would be a coin flip. You can see the screen there, 50-50. 
Helene's got King-10 offsuit. Like, she's gonna get involved in a pot. There's the bird. Trying to intimidate the players. Trying to mimic the blinds going up. It's not that time yet. Sebastian getting pocket nines now like the on the big blind. Oh, yeah. He shoves all in. Six nines. Six Jeremy calls. Can Jeremy get lucky here? Oh, oh. he's got backdoor club draws and a gut shot with his ace. Got some outs. Ace. Got the ace on the river. Thirty-seven. Jeremy doubles up. One thirty-seven. Looks like he moved right back to the big stack. You got one. Although it is still relatively even, this didn't change very much from the last time. <laughs> Almost hit your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Eight and sixteen. This is still anybody's tournament. It's kind of mean. And Sebastian shoves all in now. Queen 10 suited. Yeah. Jeremy folds the a7. But the cow has been wrong, so I know. I definitely wasn't calling. Sebastian wins the blinds. Only when it's suited. You what? <laughs> Jeremy under the gun. King Jack offsuit. That's the strategy. Always look at people's stacks and bellies. I like it. I want his bound. Jeremy making quite a large bet. 50k. Actually, I say it's large, but blind, I didn't notice. Blinds are up. 8,000, 16,000. With an 8,000 big blind ante. No wonder the bet was so much. Oh, daddy. It just seemed like a lot, but it's really not. <laughs> Here we go. For a big, big $130,000 pot. They're yeah, right. This is a quite a large pot. Both Matt and Jeremy with the same hand. Looks like Jeremy's thinking about shoving it in here. It would probably win him the pot. Decides to see another card. Wow, and Matt's not going anywhere. He's a non-believer. 216k pot now. Ace on the river. Neither player has an ace. Wowzers. Wow. I bet you they were not expecting that. A split pot. Such a large pot. Wow. Those blinds are getting up there now. Some of these shorter stacks are gonna have to gonna have to start playing. We're on hand forty nine. <laughs> Sebastian eight seven suited on the button. Forty eight thousand. One million dollars. Jeremy Ace King. <laughs> 
Whichever you like. Shoves all in. Sebastian's got 59k behind. Put over half his stack in there. There's no way I can see him getting away from this. I think he's just got to put it in here and hope for the best. Eight seven suited, a great hand to really crack any big hand. But he folds. He put in almost half his stack and he folded. Wow. Jeremy shows the ace king. Yes. Sebastian was behind. But he looks like his patience paid off though. He wakes up with pocket tens. Shoves all in. Matt calls with pocket threes. Calvin's got a nice, fun hand with A7 suited. I think we're good. What was it again, sorry? 59. And you just called. And you got like 130 something. Look, Calvin's thinking about getting involved in here. Looks like he just calls. A large pot, three way. 201K. Yep. The winner of this will probably be the biggest sack at the table. Check. Sebastian's tens are still the best hand. Seven. Looks like Matt's going to fire out, though. I am holding a good hand for you. Well, I guess this is where I find out what I got. Sebastian, oh, turns out he didn't even look at his hand. I didn't know that. It's gonna be happy about it. You didn't look at your hand? I, no, I didn't. I just <laughs> opened it open up. Three. Gonna need. Oh, there's a seven. <sighs> Pocket tens. That's like a quadruple up. <laughs> you were standing up, so I was like, wait, like, what are you doing? No, he's got to play some more. He's, yeah. he's, he's abs upset about that. Sebastian, that put him in third place. Yes. The blinds are getting high. It's pretty much become shove poker now. Everyone's like sitting around the 10 big blind mark. Someone's got to get up to a big stack eventually. What? Pineapple. Pocket fours for Jeremy. See, flat calls to 16K. Limping in. Calvin's got pocket eights right behind him. 50. He's going to bump it up. Makes it 50k. <laughs> Don't do it just for spite. Oh, no. Uh, so this must be one of the longest money bubbles. Uh, yeah, we had, actually, we had a pretty long one. one. Yeah. Okay. I forgot the players are on the money bubble here. Ooh, Calvin flopping the boat. Jeremy's going to need running fours. Check. Check. Calvin making a half pot bet for some value. Jeremy does have a little bit of a calling hand here. He doesn't think his opponent has an ace or a five or a better pocket pair. He calls. I actually like that call from Jeremy, believe it or not. Even though he's behind, I think he's going to beat a lot of Calvin's range. But that puts Calvin now at the biggest stack. He's got a fun hand here. 10-9 suited. Is he going to play it? Under the gun. Blinds are getting high. 32. Throws out a min bet. Jeremy, 8-5. Defending that big blind.
Calvin hits his pair of tens. He even gets a value out of Jeremy. It's a half half pot bet. Jeremy folds. Ooh, pocket nines now for Sebastian. Calvin's going to defend here. Jack 10 offsuit. There's his Jack. Not a terrible flop for pocket nines either, but. Check. Call. And all in a snap call. This could be it for Sebastian. He's going to need a nine. He's only got two outs. Could get running clubs though. Ooh, there's the jack. Running to a nine only. Calvin ends up eliminating Sebastian. Fifth place. Right on the money bubble. Ace nine off suit. How much do you want? One eight. Oh no, I was looking at hers. Oh, okay. no. no, I just didn't know. Eight, I couldn't. Five, I couldn't five. see how much was there. Good. No, can't. Jeremy, fifty k, taking those blinds. The blinds are big. I had eight, four, well, <laughs> Take enough of those and, and add quite a bit to your stack. Yeah. Right. Ooh, pocket kings for Calvin. 60. Under the gun, 60K bet. Blinds are 10,000, 20,000 now. 10,000 big blind ante. He's going to get folded around. Jeremy's got King Jack absolutely crushed here by Calvin. He defends, though. King would be disastrous for Jeremy here. An all in and a snap call from Calvin. Wow. Jeremy trying to bluff to try to take down that pot. Don't give him a jack. <laughs> Jeremy ends up getting eliminated in fourth place. We are now three handed down at this table. <laughs> Jeremy so taking home door. fourth place, a hundred and twenty dollars. So we got, what do we got? Fifteen hundred. Uh, Minus sixty. Yeah. Minus sixty. So looks 14. like the players are yeah. talking about chopping it up. Calvin is an overwhelming chip stack. I'm trying to figure out math in my head. I believe it's like seven hundred and fifty dollars for first, something around there anyway. So if I take yeah, six be, and you guys take four forty each. Or 420 each, I think that would be because that would be what did you say? Six so I take good? six and you guys take 420 each, sure. Yeah, okay. All right, so oh, we got ourselves a split. Uh, it was we'll 600 and 420 yeah, each. That is it for this tournament. It's a 420 for the boat. I guess we yeah, could just crown Calvin the winner. That was what we had 1440. That is it. So thank you guys so much for watching here on AOP Poker. We've just started doing some live streams. So make sure to yeah. like and subscribe and you will get notifications for when we go live. You do not want to miss it. Some great action, some great cash game action, low stakes action, may I mention. Home game poker like you've never seen it before. This is your host and commentator, Dave Frazier, signing out. Good night.